Okay, what's up guys? We are at Costco right now because I got an anonymous tip that there is some Pokemon here. Now, the big boxes, I know they sell at Costco. Oh yeah, he's here too. Yeah, well, you don't have a Costco card, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so I don't have a Costco card, so I had to bring Tristan. But um, anyways, what they do have is I believe it's like five tins and then a couple singles in it, like single cards. I've heard about it. I've seen a lot of people open it, but I've never seen it at my Costco. So hopefully we get lucky today. All right, guys, so this is nuts. Check out what we just found. So it is an Evolving Skies ETB plus a tin, and there is a palette of other ones here. Now, I think we actually got the last two of the Evolving Skies one. I have another one here that Tristan's holding on to. Two different tins. I think we're gonna pick both up today, but yeah, this is nuts. So seriously, guys, we are digging around right now, and I think these are the last two actually Evolving Skies ones, and they are, for the two of them, 50, or sorry, fifty four ninety nine. dollars Thanks, pretty Tr good deal. Thanks, Tristan. Yeah, these are insane. Yeah, these ETBs I know alone go for like, how much, like $80? Probably, yeah. Like, they're like $80 ETBs, plus the tin that you're getting with them, and we're getting them for 54 This is unreal, guys. This is insane. All right, guys, so I'm back from Costco, and we picked up some nuts stuff today. So, again, as you guys probably saw in the video, I was able to scoop actually two of these, which is the two-pack from Costco, the Evolving Skies ETB plus a tin with, like, I think it can be a bunch of characters. I saw Slowbro. I picked up also a Jolteon, and I think there was a Vaporeon or Flareon tin. There, there was a couple tins, but anyways, this is nuts. This is insane, because, like, who would have thought you could get an Evolving Skies ETB for $55? Like, in Canada, 55 is, like, insane. I know, I don't know what they are, go for an American, but I know, like, a market value for an ETB for Evolving Skies right now goes for, like, I think it's, like, $110. I might be mistaken. It's between 90 and a buck, and a buck 10, which is nuts when you got it for 55. And technically not even 55, he's got a 10 with it, too. Uh, anyways, I know I'm rambling on about this, but I'm just, I'm, I'm shocked. So, I got this one here with a slow bro, so I'm actually gonna be saving this one today and throwing that on a shelf for a later video. But I also did get this one with the Jolteon tin, and this is the one we're going to be cracking into today. Okay, guys. So, I made a little mistake. I may have opened the tin, and my camera file corrupted. So, I, I got some good stuff in it, and I plan... You know what? I'll show you what packs came in at first, because they, they surprised me. So, you're going to get two Evolving Skies. Now, again, these are open because... Um, yeah, one Astral Radiance and one Fusion Strike. So, <laughs> it was better than I thought. I thought there was going to be three packs in there. Again, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't open them up on camera. Oops, I'm sorry. I'll show the hits off now, like as if I got them like that. But let's check out the hits. So starting off with the hits from the box, and I'm laughing just because I, I, I messed up. But So obviously we got the Jolteon promo here. And then we're, we got a Glaceon V from Evolving Skies. And then, of course, this would have been great for the video, but in the same pack from Astral Radiance, we got the Failings Trainer Gallery along with the Hisuian Decidueye V Star card. So, you know, a really awesome tin if you guys got the chance to see me open it. I know that's kind of unfortunate, but. In the end of the day, it is, you know, the, we know that I got some cool cards out of it. So setting everything off to the side, I now I did not open, which is the nice thing, the ETB. And now it did um, rip the plastic seal off when it, um, when I opened it on the thing. But I promise you this is not opened. So again, there is going to be like a regular old ETB. You're going to have the Evolving Skies Player's Guide, which has all the card lists in it. And then, of course, the juice of the box, which is obviously going to be the packs along with our sleeves and other goodies. So pulling all the packs out here, as we can see my big old meaty paw on the camera. So we're going to get our eight Evolving Skies packs with... Oh man, if we can pull that Rayquaza alternate art VMAX, I, I might I might poop myself. Really, I might. Um, <laughs> but anyways, setting those to the side, we'll quickly I'll quickly go through the other stuff. So obviously we're gonna get some you know some energies. Um, the the meat of the box I still feels like for everybody is going to be the nice uh, Eevee, which is I believe it is Sylveon, Vaporeon, Sylveon, and Glaceon along with a code card for the box so you guys can have the sleeves online. Some deck dividers along with some other accoutrements. So now let's get into the good stuff. So starting off here with a Sylveon pack. Kind of forgot Sylveon was the fourth pack art in this set. I'm not gonna be lie with you guys. I, I don't know what I thought it was. I knew it was obviously Rayquaza, Duraludon, and then Umbreon because they have the big cards in the set. But I guess Sylveon does have that alternate art 
too, where she's almost like on the counter there, like on in kind of a kitchen. So that's kind of neat. So yeah, let's crack into this pack, see if we can get anything cool. So cracking on into it. Yeah, I feel like the big cards in Evolving Skies have obviously like consumed the market with like the Moonbrion and then the Oh my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh man! Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh wow, that's the alternate Duraldon artwork. Oh man. Oh my, I am stunned. 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 Look at that, guys. Oh, he's eating his food, and there's the Rotom there, too. Oh man, this is the first alternate artwork I've pulled on camera. This is nuts. This is insane. Oh my god. Look how awesome that is. We were talking about alternate arts. And Duraldon was the one that like completely slipped my mind. Like I was literally, I, I was thinking like Moonbrion, Sylveon, I say Moonbrion, Numbreon in the moon, and then like the Rayquaza, but I think we, we were sleeping on the other packer in the set. Oh man, that's great. What a good hit to start us off with. And now getting into these ones, and now these are, if you guys did see, the white code card there. So that means this is the reprint of Evolving Skies, not the first wave. That's always a way you can kind of tell them apart. And then we're going to have a Stoutland regular rare. So that means that these were printed, I believe. I don't know if it was what set came first, because it was Evolving Skies, and then I believe Fusion Strike were the one after it. So we'll get into this one again here. Yeah, so this was the reprint they did, because this set was probably, out of Sword and Shield sets, was probably the most popular. I would say a lot of people just really, really, really love this set. And I mean, can you blame them? Ooh, nice Raichu Hollow there. But yeah, like this set was really good. So I think they just wanted everyone to kind of get a stab at it if they hadn't. And also because the value of these packs are crazy as they are, let alone before. I know these are in Canada. I want to say they're going for like $12 a pack, which is nuts. Like usually I can usually get like a normal pack for about four and a half five dollars a lot of them are going up now because the the sets are older but yeah no definitely and then a nice tropius rare see so yeah, onto our sylveon card here so maybe we can get another alternate artwork to join the one is the duraludon back there so yeah i mean dude that is nuts i don't know if you guys have pulled a lot of alternate artworks but me personally not at all i have had a really bad stint i pulled a lot of cool cards but not alternate artworks like that. That one is nuts. And I think out of the set, that one is pretty undervalued. But yeah, no, nice to get that one and, and really uh, add that one in the binder. And now I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a collection video, and that will be coming soon. The problem is with it is, if you guys saw my video where I traded everything away, um, it took like most of my collection. So I have a lot of like cards, and I just literally last night did a whole sort of all of my vault cards. So even in my background here with like all these ETBs, they're full of cards, like, and they are organized by set. Ooh, Karen there, and then a Thievolt, regular rare. Yeah, so they're organized by set, so like, this one's pretty empty right now, because it is just Crown Zenith, but like, this one's Lost Origins, this one's Lost Origins, this one's Lost Origins, Astral Radiance, and then this one is all like old cards from like uh, XY generation, and like some black and white, and some more like vintage cards. So there are a lot of stuff like that in there, and then on my shelf to the, the, uh, the left of me, I organized all by set in there too. So yeah, there is a lot of cool stuff to come and I promise I will get that collection video. I just wanna kinda make my binder a little bit more full just so when I show it off on camera, it's not, uh, it doesn't look as underwhelming as I personally think it does, but yeah. Okay, and on to the last pack here, the Umbreon artwork. And I think we all know what Umbreon card we're looking for and I mean, there always is some last pack magic. So I'm hoping today, and look at that. A little black code card there. Great start. Let's see if we can get into it and get something good. Okay, I might have seen a little black. I don't know, hopefully we can get something good out of here. Okay, Sableye, Wishy Washy, and then it's going to be, oh, oh, that's actually pretty nice. A Hollow Entei, pretty cool there. Okay, so checking out the hits from today, and I know, realistically, you guys only seem, saw me actually pack one of these, but I promise I packed the other ones. But I mean, let's be, look at this one today. Like the Duraludon alternate artwork here, that one is 
awesome. I'm so happy we pulled these. What you know makes the trip to Costco all worth it. It's a little bit out of the way for me, but when you're pulling alternate artworks for $55, I don't know how much this one goes for. I don't think it's ridiculous, but it's like, I don't know, I probably popped the price on the screen when I pulled it. So you guys would have seen that, but this is awesome. I can't wait to get this one sleeved up and thrown in my binder. And then yeah, the cards behind it, like I already showed off earlier, are pretty cool. But yeah, definitely that Duraludon V alternate artwork is uh, is the peak of today. So anyways, guys, that has been the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for sticking around. I know this video came out a little bit late this week. There was a lot of stuff going on in my life. I just hadn't had the time to really sit down and get a video out. So you're probably seeing this either on, I think it will be Saturday when this video comes out. And yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get a video out. I know my last one was Monday with Tristan, and that, that was pretty nice. I really, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the support on that one. But uh, yeah, I just had some stuff going on. I had to take some time to myself and really settle down before I could really get behind the camera and pop up videos for you guys. But I really appreciate that. Thanks for sticking around. And make sure to check out my Instagram, which I just made. I believe it is at NateCollectsTCG Nate, Nate on Instagram. So check that out. You can hit a follow there. And I post a lot of the stuff I pick up early before I get a video out so you guys see it earlier or whatnot. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's been me. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Peace.